hello guys welcome back to the channel once again today we have a dell board and it is lab 843p the problem is it is not turning on though the fan is spinning but there is no rise in ampere it's a dealer's board so let's try to fix it today and we'll see if any result comes let's have a quick look on components and then we will inject the voltage since the fan is spinning so guys before i start uh, let me demonstrate you what is the condition of the board the dc is set on 19 volts and now let's plug the power cable okay the power cable has been plugged you can see uh, there is a rise in ampere it is 0 0.02 and it is on the fan is spinning without even pressing the power button there is no CMOS battery inside but there is no rise in ampere it is only 0 0.04 and the board is on there is no light which glowing so by seeing the ampere and the fan is spinning we can find it out that the board is on okay so this is the problem we are facing now let's try to repair it so guys uh, let's check the voltages what are the voltages we are getting because the board is turning on that means there is no shorting on the board so first we need to measure the voltages so here we are getting 5 volt step down circuit and here we are getting 3.3 so that means wind section 3.3 everything is okay and now if I see uh, the BIOS chip it has been programmed earlier it seems because there is a mark on the board of the flux so 100% the BIOS has been done earlier so 3.35 volts is coming and then RAM voltage there is no RAM voltage this is the RAM co coil because if I see on the schematic luckily we have a schematic as well uh, the coil number is PL4902 PL4902 so on the schematic this is the one PL4902 1.35 yes it is PC3L uh, RAM PC3 PC3L I think we need to put PC so it's a PC3L so this is the RAM coil and we are supposed to get 1.35 volt which is not coming so our probe starts from here no RAM voltage and there is no core voltage as well obviously if there is no RAM voltage the coil voltage will not come most of the time ok so our probe should be on the RAM IC first maybe the RAM IC is back side so here is the RAM IC if you are able to see it this is the RAM IC and now we will measure the voltages of this RAM IC the location on the board of this RAM IC is PU4901 and on the schematic itself on the schematic you can see it is PU4901 so as per the schematic we are supposed to get pin number 12 S5 volt that is 5 volt pin number 20 power good which will come out from this IC that is 3.3 .3 volts and then this is S3 this also we are supposed to get and S17 this so these are the pins which are very important we need to check it out pin number 6 pin number 16 and 17 here is the signal which is coming as PM underscore SLPS3 here pin number 2 also is important so let's find out which pin is having how much voltage so guys as per the schematic pin number 12 is V5 in we will check pin number 12 first pin number 1 2 3 4 5 10 11 and 12 this is the pin number 1 ok so we are getting 
फाइव वोल्ट ऑन पिन नंबर वन नाउ पिन नंबर ट्वेंटी विच इज थ्री डॉट थ्री एस जीरो आफ्टर आई सी इज एनेबल्ड दैट वोल्टेज कम दैट इज द पिन नंबर पिन नंबर थ्री सो पिन नंबर वन टू थ्री pin number 3 is coming from this so this is the pin number 3 and as you can see there is no voltage that means the ic is not functioning there is a power good of this ic and we will check it out pin number 16 here is the pin number 16 pin number 16 as well we are not getting any voltage there is no voltage on pin number 16 pin number 16 there is no voltage that means s5 power 1.135 a enable is not coming now which voltage we need to check pin number 2 let's check out pin number 2 So pin number two. Here is the pin number two. Pin number two. There is no voltage. So pin number two. There is no voltage. So before changing the IC, let me check it. Let's do a cold checking and find out if there is any beep on the IC itself. One, two, three, four. Pin number four is beeping. What is there in the pin number four? One, two, three, four. Pin number four is ground. Pin number five, no beep. Pin number six, seven. Pin number seven is beeping. Pin number seven is giving the beep. So where is pin number seven? This is ground. Pin number eight, pin number nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there is no beep. Okay, guys. now we have to find out where this enable is coming from that is pin number 16 so yes pm underscore slps 3 and s4 is coming from the pch which is the processor chip it is inside uh, now first thing what we need to do is we have to program the bios so first thing what we need to do is we have to program the bios and then we have to check it out whether if uh, whether the path of any component component is blocking slps3 or bios itself is faulty so i'll come back after programming the bios and then we will check it out so guys programming has been done the problem was this bios chip was faulty now we have replaced this with the different bios ic and we have done the programming as well now i will show you what is the condition of the board there was a pc3 ram which we have removed it to pc3l since it was 1.35 voltage so let's plug it and check it out what is the condition of the laptop what is the condition of the board now if i press the power button yes it is turning on you can see the light also is glowing and hopefully the display also will come so let's check it out if the display is coming i'll connect the keyboard Okay you can see guys 
you can see the light the display has come and if you check it out SLPS3 what we were not getting is this pin number 16 that is enable voltage and then we were not getting the power good now we can check it out whether we are getting the voltage or not here is the RAM voltage you can see 1.3 1.375 the RAM voltage is coming and now we will turn it back side and here here is the RAM I see so hopefully it is visible to you guys now you can see here is the RAM I see we will check it out pin number 16 so here you can see guys how much voltage we are getting at the pin number 16 5 10 15 and here is the 16 you can see it is 3.3 volt that is pm underscore slp underscore s3 hash that is when we press the power button this signal will come in the form of voltage okay and then we have to check it out pin number 20 that is the power good of this ic the pin number 20 you can see the last pin of this IC you can see 3.3 .3. so guys this is how we repair laptops hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a nice day